In this video, I'm going to talk about adding interactive message for Slack in a Django Python uh, backend. Uh, Slack has the ability to, from its API, to send out messages that include buttons like this so that you can take an action directly in Slack like this. I have been adding this to an app that we just released called Stuff Smart. It's an app where you can organize your things, put up things to sell them, look for things to buy, discuss things you like, and be able to loan things from your friends and many other things. You should check it out. It's available on the App Store. There's a link up right now and in the notes below. So let's see. In the app, there is the ability. So like this, I have my things here. So in my bag, <clears throat> I have this adapter. And I can see that someone left a comment like this. And look, it's a bad comment. Someone wrote something bad. I should report this. So I can drag like this from the side and say report. Now, if I report this, what actually happens is that in the back end, that comment actually in the database just gets marked as that it's been reported. And I, as an admin, have to take action just both for the user's sake and actually because of Apple's rules. I have to take swift action to handle reported things. So what I need to do is to get notified about someone reported this. So this is where Slack comes in. So I've added this thing that here when I report this, like this, do you want to report? Yes. What happens in Slack, I get this. Should you approve the comment on this item, adapter USB-C to HDMI USB? The comment was bad comment. And here I included a link to the uh, admin so I can watch this. I've hidden it just for and now I can go here, go to the admin and look at it. Sure. Search for reported comments. This is a bit slow because I got it on local. Hey, here's the bad comment and things like this. Here it's marked as reported, one as in it's reported. However, I can take action directly here in, um, in Slack. I can say approve or deny directly. If I say, hey, someone just wrote bad comment, this isn't needed to be removed. So I can say approve. And it says comment approved. I check in the back end just reload this you can see that it's reported one and now it gets changed to status code two as in approved so how is this built well it's using the slacks python slack client can be installed with pip installed slack client here's a simple example you just import Slack client and you use the API token and you create a Slack client. Then you can just make something like this, post a message to this channel with this text. So that's the basic example just for posting to a, to a channel. What you're going to be needing is the Slack API token 
if you go to the to the API docs, you can see here that you got two things. You got here interactive uh, messages. You got a request URL. That's where if I click a button, where it's gonna send a request. That's for where you define this URL. And then up here in the basic information, we got a th few things. Here we got a verification token, which we're gonna be using soon to verify that the message was actually sent by us. Like this. And then we're gonna be needing Here with the permission, we get an access token like this. The access token, the validation token, and the URL. That's what's needed here. So let's begin by looking at some Python code. This is when someone reported a, uh, a uh, comment. So here I say, get me the selected comment and make sure that it's, I can only uh, report things that are um, in the state of have not been reported before. Here I say, create a Slack client. Here it says just XXX, but here you should enter your API token. Here I say what message I'm sending. And this is, all this attachment thing is about the buttons. So there's a approve button and a deny button. And I send in as a value, the ID of the comment. <laughs> then I say post message to my channel with the text, approve this comment with this name and the comment is this and things like that. <laughs> all right. So that shows the the message in Slack. Then when the user, the admin, clicks approve or deny, I get a request that lands in this that says here I get from the request, I get the, the body, make it JSON data. Here I get the token and make sure that it is the same validation token as we looked in the docs before. After that, I take out the action name, action value. We got that here. Action name, action value. So there it is if it's a proof comment or deny comment. So I take out those values and then I get the uh, uh, contain uh, the item comment here and I change it to if it's been reported or not if it's approved or not so that's the basic flow of making a uh, interactive message in Slack. It's a great way to get notified and actually take action directly. This way we can easily have uh, set up different channels for different notification. This scales up very well. So I could easily have uh, a host of admins just approving, denying messages and things like that without having to actually go into the admin interface and make changes. Please check out the Stop Smart app on the, on the App Store if you're looking to organize your things, to get more Stop Smart, to find out things that are near you for sale and uh, talk about things you love.
with your friends. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to the channel. We got many upcoming videos on iOS development.